All right, guys, this is round two here. You know, a couple of weeks ago, I shot a video. <laughs> Down here in, in good old Georgia where this stuff don't happen too much. And here we are again. <laughs> this time it was an ice storm. And right now it's currently still snowing. It's about uh, going on 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's supposed to leave here in about another hour. It's supposed to be gone. Sun's supposed to come out. And my, my palm trees look pitiful right there. I hope they ain't going to make it through all this because everything is, everything is just covered in ice. You can see the, see the pines right there. And uh, got about 300,000 customers, Georgia Power customers without power right now because of the ice storm. But anyway, so far we've been lucky. We haven't lost power yet. I'm going to show y'all, uh, I'm going to show y'all a backup heating plan I had for the greenhouse. Uh, he might be something to consider. And, uh, Brock, I'm going to shoot this little part for you here. I'm going to zoom in on this, on this little hoop house. You'll be glad to see that it's, uh, not sagging this time. <laughs> I got in there, did a little reinforcement work to prior to this coming so uh, <laughs> I know that'll make you happy buddy <laughs> uh, anyhow moving on moving right along ah what a difference a day makes <laughs> how about that that's the way things do down here in Georgia <laughs> <laughs> One day after, ain't that something? <laughs> hey everybody, Key Player 61 back with you again. Uh, as you can see, we've been having quite a brutal winter down here. I mean, for us anyway, I mean, it's been brutal all over the country, but uh, particularly, you know, down here in the south here in Georgia, we just don't, uh, we're not used to this kind of weather. So, as you've seen here in the past, uh, I know that there's a couple other uh, my Georgian neighbors around that uh, shot videos of the snow and the ice storms and such as that, and the cold weather. Um, but I tell you what, we're going to get through it some kind of way. And uh, But I promised you guys uh, we'll be back in a couple of weeks here to uh, give you an update on the cracky beds and uh, give you a little update of the greenhouse as well. And I uh, also uh, wanted to kind of show you what I did for the uh, supplemental heating possibility. Uh, most of you know if you've been following the videos that I use uh, electric heat in the greenhouse here. And uh, typically in this area we don't have too many power problems, power issues uh, for whatever reason. I don't know. Uh, I know our utilities are underground here in this neighborhood that I live in. Um, so we typically don't have too many problems with power going on. I mean very, very rare. So sometimes you kind of get caught with your pants down so to speak like I did. and. Uh, we spent the better part of uh, Tuesday going around to place after place after place after checking online and everything like that and still couldn't get too much results and finally by the end part of the day uh, we wound up finding a uh, 11,000 BTU patio heater that's powered by propane and I figured if you know uh, push comes to shove that's what I had to do with power you know did lose power to the grid that uh, we at least would have that to save the greenhouse because there's just way too much going on in here to uh, lose it all and it wouldn't take long for it to get down below freezing and just kill everything in here. So uh, <clears throat> just kind of some food for thought um, if you're doing a greenhouse and using electric heat, you know, uh, always have a backup plan. Uh, I should have already had one but I've had this greenhouse now for two years and uh, it never really crossed my mind that I really should have something other than you know, then uh, just solely depending on my electric heat in the event that the grid go, does go down. So, uh, anyway, but I'll show you guys that here in a bit. But uh, right now I want to give you a little tour and let me show you the cracky beds and uh, show you what else has been going on in here and everything's still looking just fine and dandy and we're 
we're, we're pleased and, and, uh, and still been having a lot of good vegetables here this winter and uh, hope you enjoy it. So just uh, stand by. All right, guys, as most of y'all know, um, this has been my primary heat source for the greenhouse. Uh, it does a very good job. And uh, I'll mention this probably in another video in the description of the greenhouse, but since we're on the heat subject, I figured I'd uh, go over it once again. But this is a uh, 240 volt, 18,000 BTU electric heater. Does a very good job. And uh, as long as, long as you're on grid, you have no problems whatsoever. This is my little unit that I managed to pick up at the last minute here for supplemental heat. It is 11,000 BTUs. Won't be quite as effective, uh, but it will keep this greenhouse from, uh, from going down below freezing, uh, and or possibly even, even maybe even keep it in the you know mid 40s or such. Because uh, it's not it's not a great big difference in the BTUs, but uh, enough to uh, to where it can make the difference on you know staying 45 or staying 55 or 60 degrees in here at night. You know, but. Uh, I, I, I have tested this thing out. It does a very good job, but still a lot of good heat. Um, the only thing is, I mean, I, I did not have to use it as supplemental heat. But anyway, uh, I'm sure it would have done just fine. And if the situation arises, which we hope it don't, uh, I will definitely keep you abreast of that and let you know how well it did, you know, without the electric heat running at the same time. But, uh, anyway, something like I said, just food for thought. You know, keep that in mind if you're using electric heat, which I know a lot of people are using uh, gas heat or a lot of you guys are using wood. I would love to use wood, but uh, one thing, my greenhouse is only 14 by 20, and uh, I've got it packed full of plants. And uh, another reason is I have a very terrible back. I can't fool with that wood, so uh, I have to have something that's uh, a little bit a little easier on the back, if y'all know what I mean. A lot of y'all do know what I mean. But uh, anyway, let's... Uh, Let's get on with the tour. And this is what it looks like two weeks later. Everything looks really, really good. I do have a little thinning to do on the lettuce. As you see, from back to front right there we have a uh, gourmet greens mixture lettuce like a mescaline mix uh, various different uh, varieties in the same net cup there we're gonna try that out I've never done those before but uh, and then in the middle we got the uh, Paris Island romaine all of it's looking very good like I said I'm going I need to do a little thinning here so y'all just uh, pardon me on that but uh, and in the front here we got the uh, Great Lakes head lettuce. And, uh, and we'll move on down the road here. I uh, decided since I do do a lot of salads and I do a lot of juicing as well. Uh, kale does very good in juicing. And this is uh, this side over here. These six plants right here in the front are dwarf blue curled kale. Uh, I kind of complained about the kale last uh, cracky bit. If y'all watched that video, uh, I, I actually didn't really didn't give it a chance. And uh, <laughs> sometimes our, our my impatience in this anyway gets the best of me. And then this is broccoli leaf kale right here. And then the uh, the bush beans. I've got a I got to do a little work on them and get them under control a little bit. But uh, as you can see, that bed's full right there. We're going we're gonna to see how this works. I tried a few of them. I tried four plants last bed, and uh, they did very good. So we're going to try it again with some more this time, see if we can't get a few more beans out of it and see how it works. But uh, anyway, I thought it was worth trying. And uh, that's what I mean about that kale. This is one of the kale plants that was in the cracky bed last time that I salvaged that we did not eat. And uh, if you look at that puppy right there, it's just sitting in a in a little small bucket with nutrient mix in and it's just going to town so that that gives you a good example right there of my impatience so and anyway as you see this was uh this was the lone better boy that i had uh 
uh, whatever reason it just decided it's done um, now this one is not in a Dutch bucket I know it's sitting on the Dutch bucket uh, stand there along with the other Dutch bucket plants but it is a, in fact in a crack key bucket it's just been sitting in nutrient mix with no air stones or anything like that it's just been just just like a crack key setup uh, but it did good for a long while there and for whatever reason it's now uh, it's decided it wanted to play out so I just topped it um, could have could have been the nutrients got out of hand on it uh, I mean I did keep a check on it from time to time it's a little harder to pull those buckets apart and check all that but uh, anyway she did good we enjoyed it all the same and uh, and as you can see that the, these big beasts are still they're still doing just fine we're gonna uh, we're gonna let we're gonna let them run as long as they'll run and I, I need to drop them again I'm trying to keep them shooting in the sun y'all but uh, yes they're uh, they're doing just fine and, uh, hopefully they'll continue to do so like I said we're gonna take them as long as we can and a lot of you guys have shown a, a big interest in the cracky celery which uh, for good reason as you can see that stuff right there is uh it's just still just doing wonderful so y'all need to try this I'm serious um, we're just gonna walk right down here and uh, show you these peppers here there's them golden bell peppers that, uh, that last couple of times I showed y'all we didn't have uh, any turn yet but uh, that you see that's changed <laughs> so uh, and the red ones there's coming along you see couple pretty good size ones in the red ones right there so they're still doing fine a little slow but they're doing fine you know I think all things considered uh, and then my my new run of little leaf cucumbers are starting to go up the stream there so hopefully they'll do good here shortly uh, I don't even know if this is worth showing or not a little that was a little one that came along afterwards but it'll get there eventually <laughs> anyway guys uh, just a little short update, keep you guys posted like I promised I would do, and uh, I hope this finds everybody well, and uh, once again, we'll keep you updated, we, we'll get you back in here about 15 days later on the lettuce anyway, if, uh, if nothing else, but we'll uh, get you back in on that and let you see the progress, and uh, hope y'all enjoyed this, God bless you, take care.